यस हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस आई एम रियली सॉरी फॉर द टेक्निकल ग्लिच अभी हम लोग स्टार्ट कर ही रहे थे तो कि कुछ टेक्निकल कुछ प्रॉब्लम हो गया था सो दैट्स व्हाई वी जस्ट हैड टू स्टॉप इट एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू सेशन एंड इट्स इन दिस न्यू सेशन आई वेलकम यू ऑल एंड गाइज थैंक यू फॉर योर सपोर्ट एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर पेशेंस सो फ्रेंड्स टूडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद सक्सेसिव चेंज का एप्लीकेशन पार्ट एक्चुअली वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सक्सेसिव चेंज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज राइट सो यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ओवर द बेल आइकन ऑफ दिस वीडियो फाइन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सक्सेसिव चेंज आई मीन द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट ऑफ सक्सेसिव चेंज राइट एंड गाइज होपफुली यू यू गाइज आर वेरी क्लियर अबाउट द द एक्चुअल चेंज आई मीन द इफेक्टिव चेंज of the successive changes suppose that suppose that everyone uh, let's say there is a change of 10% two times like the successive change of 2% uh, 10% two times right for example the population of a town is increasing by 10% every year so after two years it will be increased by 21% right so this might uh, this uh, we have already discussed and you might have covered that portion also uh, i expect it huh and and everyone suppose that there is a there is an increment of 10% so after three successive increment of 10% overall increment will be 33.1% guys clear and let's say there are two successive decrement of 10% so after two successive decrement of 10% the overall decrement will be 19% right and the value will be remain i mean the value will be left out the 81% of its original value fine ye sari cheeze humne discuss kar li thi agar aapko dhyan ho to ठीक है मैं एक बार फिर से बता देता हूँ जैसे मान लीजिए कि अगर 10 परसेंट का इंक्रीमेंट होगा ठीक तो एक इंक्रीमेंट के बाद तो वो 10 परसेंट का इंक्रीमेंट है टू सक्सेसिव इंक्रीमेंट के बाद वो 21 परसेंट का इंक्रीमेंट है आफ्टर थ्री सक्सेसिव इंक्रीमेंट इट इज द इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ 33.1 परसेंट राइट सो गाइज दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड सपोज दैट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द डिक्रीमेंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट सो आफ्टर one decrement of 10% is it is the decrement of 10% obviously right in fact let me write it here if it is the decrement of 10% so after one decrement it is the decrement of 10% after two successive decrements it is the decrement of 19% after three successive decrements it is the decrement of 27.1% right and the original value becomes sorry this is 27.1% right and the original value becomes 72.9% of right the original value becomes 72.9% of itself after three successive decrements of 10% 10% and 10% guys clear so this we have discussed already right and today we are going to discuss the application part of these things also i mean uh aaj ka lecture bahut acha hone wala hai guys so please isko acche se kariye theek hai and i can see some of you guys if you guys are there please say hi hello or good morning so that i can just get to know like you guys are active fine okay so all of you now let's start with the class ha huh? everyone shall we start with the class okay so everybody now let's start with the class so uh, and uh, before the starting of the class some rituals are there that we have to follow right so this is our telegram channel guys right and aap agar hamare telegram channel se judte hain then you will get to know about the updates like for example we are going to launch uh, like we have launched a very fresh batch abhi just very recently so all the updates are there and we are going to launch the test series also for uh, csat this time and the updates will be there very soon fine सो टेलीग्राम चैनल अगर आप ज्वाइन करते हैं यू विल गेट ऑल द अपडेट्स रिगार्डिंग द अपकमिंग प्रोग्राम सो फार फाइन एंड आफ्टर दैट गाइज दिस इज आर वेबसाइट अंजिस डॉट कॉम एंड ऑब्वियसली लाइक वी आर रनिंग अ सी सैट फाउंडेशन बैच सो फॉर द फॉर द ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन जस्ट कॉल अस और यू कैन जस्ट गो टू अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड द क्लासेज आर इन बोथ मोड्स लाइक ऑनलाइन एंड ऑफलाइन बोथ फाइन एंड दिस इज आर एड्रेस लाइक दिस आर ऑफलाइन स्टडी सेंटर राइट बिकॉज अभी तक बहुत सारे लोगों को यही नहीं पता है कि लाइक uh, हम सिर्फ YouTube चैनल हैं या हम एक प्रॉपर कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन है तो वी आर एक्चुअली अ फुल फ्लेजेड प्रॉपर कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन इन राजेंद्र नगर न्यू डेली राइट या करोल बाग अगर आपको पता हो तो सो गाइज नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्लास यू जस्ट रीड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज एक्चुअली 
This is actually a very important concept in uh, uh, this mixtures and allegation, right? The concept says what? Suppose a container contains x units of pure liquid from which y units has been taken out and replaced by water. The same operation is repeated many times. So after n such operations, the quantity of pure liquid in the container will be, right? Everyone, dekhi, the concept says what? Suppose a container contains x units of pure liquid, right? Suppose a container contains x units of pure liquid from which y units has been taken out and replaced by water, right? And the same operation has been performed some more times. So after n such operations, the quantity of pure liquid in the container will be, right? So the formula says x into 1 minus y by x raised to the power n, fine. So x is what? x is quantity of pure liquid, fine, initial quantity of pure liquid, okay? And n is what? n is number of operations and y is what? y is the replacement. I mean how much we have taken out and replaced by water, fine. So this is the left out quantity after n such operations. This is the left out, left out quantity of pure liquid after n such operations. So guys, this is the process, right? This is the formula. But if we are actually comfortable with successive changes, right? And successive change, effective change, if we are comfortable with all those figures, then actually we don't need to learn any formula and we don't need to apply any formula, right? We just have to think logically, we just have to read the question and we can solve the question. I'll show you the questions of this and I'll show you the application of this and these type of questions can be solved using successive change also. And guys, CSAT, I mean in UPSC, they are asking these questions directly. And if you are comfortable with, if you are comfortable with successive changes, you can find the answers very directly. Just by reading the question, you can solve the answer. I'll show you the questions, right? So guys, this is the formula. So uh, this is the concept and this is the formula. You must have studied it several times in your studies, fine. And if you have not done it, then you can see it now. Okay? So let's everyone, let's do it for a second. Let's do question for you. The question says, from a container that contains 40 liters of pure milk, from a container that contains 40 liters of pure milk, 4 liters of milk has been taken out and replaced by water, right? After that, this operation has been performed two more times. Find out the quantity of pure milk in the container now, right? So question says, from a container that contains 40 liters of pure milk, four liters milk has been taken out and replaced by water. The same operation has been performed two more times. Find out the quantity of pure milk in the container now. Right, guys, this is the question. Okay, and now if I talk about the formula, which we recently, uh, the formula that we have seen recently, so if I do this formula, then how will it be? Let's understand this Right, and look, 40 liters of pure milk, fine. So this is the value of x. Y is what? Y is 4 liter, because 4 liter has been taken out and replaced by water, right? And how many times the operation has been performed in total? The total operation has been performed three times because once it, it was done and then two more times it was performed. So total the operation has been performed thrice actually. Fine everyone, the operation has been performed thrice. So n is equal to three, right? Now guys, the formula is what? The formula is x. The formula is x into one minus y by x raised to the power three. Right or n, fine. So this is x 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 raised to the power 3. That is clear. So 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 means 1 by 10, right? 4 by 40 means what? 1 by 10, okay? So 1 by 10 raised to the power 3. So everybody, 1 minus 1 by 10 is what? This is 9 by 10, 9 by 10 raised to the power 3, okay? So 9 cube is what? 729, and this is 1000, right everyone? So this is 40 into 72.9 divided by 100, right? Guys, why I am writing it like this? 
there is a reason behind that why i am writing it like this there is a reason behind that and i'll show you the reason and i'll prove it ki what is the use of successive change over here fine everybody just observe this carefully observe this formula and everything carefully right and then you will get to know what is the use of actually successive change and how it is applicable over here friends tell me one thing there is a 40 liters of pure milk right there is a 40 liters of pure milk correct 4 liter of milk has been taken out so everyone if 4 liter of milk has been taken out and then it was replaced by water right so if we have taken 4 liters of pure milk then what is the left i mean what is the quantity of pure milk which is left it is 36 liters now and we have poured 4 liters of water over it so now it is again 40 liters but it is a mixture of 40 liters i mean it is a mixture of milk and water where milk is 36 liters and water is 4 liters guys clear okay so now 36 liters milk and 4 liters water guys okay right now this time this time this is the mixture of milk and water right this time or uh, i should write it here i mean i should maintain the order so milk is 36 liter and water is 4 liter guys clear so this time now now this is the mixture of milk and water and what is the ratio the ratio is 9 is to 1 everybody this is the mixture of milk and water and the ratio is 9 is to 1 fine now if you take out something out of it i mean if you take out something from it it will come in the ratio 9 is to 1 right if you take something out of it it will come in the ratio 9 is to 1 fine so now guys if you take 4 liters of this out agar aap iska 4 liter ab nikalte hain to wo 4 liter jo hai 9 is to 1 ke ratio mein niklega theek hai to agar aap 4 ko 9 is to 1 ke ratio mein divide karenge to wo aa jayega 3.6 and 0.4 theek hai तो एक्चुअली पता है क्या होगा जरा ध्यान से समझिए कि 3.6 लीटर उसका मिल्क से निकल जाएगा क्योंकि 4 लीटर अगर आप इस मिक्सचर का निकालेंगे तो उसमें 3.6 लीटर मिल्क होगा एंड 0.4 लीटर उसमें वाटर होगा ठीक तो अगर आप इसका इस 40 लीटर्स का 4 लीटर्स आप निकाल रहे हैं तो एक्चुअली 3.6 पॉइंट सिक्स लीटर वाटर इज कमिंग आउट एंड एंड सॉरी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स लीटर मिल्क इज कमिंग आउट एंड पॉइंट फोर लीटर वाटर इज कमिंग आउट फाइन एवरी 3.6 liters milk is coming out and 0.4 liter water is coming out so now milk is left is what i mean the left milk is what in fact left milk ki bhi aapko zarurat nahi hai main aapko sirf itna kehna cha raha hu ki dekhiye 40 liter ke comparison mein 4 liter is what 4 liter is actually 10% fine so first time mein jab aapne 4 liter milk nikala na to milk 10% reduce ho gaya theek उसके बाद जो सेकेंड स्टेप है सेकेंड स्टेप में आप देखिए यहाँ पे मिल्क रह गया था 36 लीटर अब उससे मिल्क कितना बाहर निकला मिल्क निकला 3.6 लीटर राइट सो अगेन द मिल्क इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय 10 परसेंट राइट तो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से एवरी टाइम द मिल्क इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय 10 परसेंट टेन परसेंट टेन परसेंट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द सक्सेसिव डिक्रीमेंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट टेन परसेंट टेन परसेंट गाइज क्लियर मैं कहना यह चाह रहा हूँ कि आप बस इतना देख लो कि फर्स्ट टाइम में कितनी क्वान्टिटी निकाली गई है राइट right? तो जितना परसेंट होगा वो मतलब 40 के कंपैरिजन में दिस इज 10 परसेंट सो एवरी टाइम द मिल्क विल बी रिड्यूस्ड बाय 10 परसेंट टेन परसेंट टेन परसेंट गाइज क्लियर सो नो इफ द मिल्क इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय 10 परसेंट सो दिस द सक्सेसिव डिक्रीमेंट ऑफ 10 परसेंट टेन परसेंट टेन परसेंट एंड हाउ मेनी डिक्रीमेंट आर देयर सो टोटल थ्री टाइम्स द ऑपरेशन इज बीन परफॉर्म्ड राइट सो एक्चुअली टेन परसेंट के थ्री सक्सेसिव डिक्रीमेंट होने के बाद द ओवरऑल डिक्रीमेंट विल बी ट्वेंटी राइट एंड the quantity will be left as 72.9% of its original value everybody right 72.9% of its original value will be left out right aap zara idhar dekhiye idhar dekhiye what is this this is nothing but the 72.9% of 40 liters everybody this is 72.9% of 40 liters clear right तो मैं सिर्फ इतना कहना चाह रहा हूं आपसे कि आप ये क्वेश्चन देखेंगे और देखते ही आपको क्लियर हो जाएगा ठीक मुझे एक बात बताइए अब अब इसको कैलकुलेट कर लीजिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है कैलकुलेट कर लेते हैं इसको 729 इंटू फोर इज नाइन फोर जो सिक्स नाइन टू जो 
sorry, 4 9s are 36, 4 9s are 36 and 4 2s are 8, 8 3 1 and 28, then 29, right? And divided by uh, this, so this is 29.16 liter, okay? Everyone, the answer is 29.16 liter. So quantity of pure milk will be left out at, as 29.16 liter. Okay, those who are sitting online, guys, ये बात आपको समझ में आ रही है या नहीं आ रही है? पहले मुझे बताइए। मैं जो कहना चाह रहा हूँ, formula लगा के तो question हो जाएगा। What exactly I want to convey? ये बात आपको समझ में आ रही है? Those who are sitting online, I can see some of you. Raghu, guys, it is clear. आप लोगों को बात समझ में आ रही है? Hmm? Everyone, those who are sitting online, ये ये clear हो रहा है आपको? हाँ? ठीक है ना, all right. So now everyone, good, very good. Satish Chavan is saying yes, very good Satish. ठीक है. अब देखिए, अब मुझे आप बताइए Satish, मैं एक क्वेश्चन आपसे कर रहा हूँ. And those who are sitting online, right? Be attentive friends. Okay, मैं एक क्वेश्चन आप लोगों से कर रहा हूँ. मुझे ये बताइए, अगर यहाँ पे initially four liters की जगह eight liters water अगर निकाला गया होता, right? If initially we are we are taking out 8 liters of water, right? Then after two such operations, just two operations, right? Not three. After two operations, pure milk kitna reh jayega? Ye batayye zara. Everybody, I repeat the question. Initially, if I am taking, matlab, like, expect this four, suppose that in, in the place of four, I am taking eight liters of water, right? Then, how much pure milk will be left after two such operation? Yes, everyone. देखिए, अगर आप eight liter water निकालते हैं, मतलब eight liter milk निकालते हैं, replace करते हैं water से, तो क्या होगा? समझ जाइएगा जरा. Eight is twenty percent with respect to what? With respect to forty, right? Twenty twenty percent के दो successive decrement हो जाएंगे, right? There are two successive decrement of twenty twenty percent. So when two successive decrement of 20-20%, then overall decrement will be what? Overall decrement will be 36%. Right? मैं आपको करके दिखा देता हूँ। देखिए जरा। 100, 100 minus 20% will be 80, right? And 80 का 20% will be what? 16, right? So 80 का 20% will be 16. So 16 will be less than, I mean 16 will be subtracted from 80. So this will become 64, right? So overall decrement will be what? Like from 100 to it becomes 64. So overall decrement will be of 36%. Guys, it is clear. Theke? Or the quantity will be left out as 64% as of its initial value. Guys, clear? Right? So pure milk will be left out as 64% of 40 liter. So 64% of 40 liter. Right? Bas, ye ho jayega. Simple, sir. Guys, clear? Those who are sitting online, Satish and I can say Yasin, Yasin Pathan. Yes, guys, it is clear now. Everyone fine. मुझे बताइए ये बातें आप लोगों को समझ में आ रही हैं? Which I am discussing. Formula लगा के तो हो ही जाएगा. It's not a problem, right? Everyone, it is okay, guys. Shall we move to the next question, right? And and that questions which 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 have been asked in UPSC, right? Shall we move, guys? Okay. So everyone, let's talk about one question of UPSC. All of you, I just want to remove this. Shall I? Hmm? Okay. Now all of you, just talk about one question of, sorry, just talk about one question of UPSC. This question came in UPSC 2020, all of you. This question came in UPSC 2020, right? The question is, just read the question. The question is like UPSC CSAT 2020 question. Just read the question, guys. And then, and then think about it. Question says, a bottle contains 20 liters of liquid A. A bottle contains 20 liters of liquid A. 4 liters of liquid A is taken out and replaced by the same quantity of liquid B. Again, 4 liters of the mixture is taken out and replaced by the same quantity of liquid B. 
what is the ratio of the quantity of liquid A to liquid B in the final mixture? Okay, everybody, right? Just read this question. Question is saying, initially, initially, we have 20 liters of liquid A in a bottle, fine. 4 liters of liquid A is replaced by the same quantity, the 4 liter of liquid B, fine. Again, now the mixture is there. Again, the 4 liter of this mixture is replaced by liquid B. Now they are asking the ratio of liquid A to liquid B in the final mixture. Guys, clear? So here, 4 liter. 4 liter is what with respect to 20 liter? This is actually 20%, right? So there are two successive decrement of 20% and 20%. Guys, clear? So obviously, after two successive decrement, a will be left as 64% of its original value, right? And obviously you are replacing it all the time with B. So the total concentration is always same. I mean the total value, the total 20 liter is always intact. Fine. So the total has to be 100%. So if it is 64, then it has to be 36%. That is clear. They are asking what is the ratio? They are asking what is the ratio, right? So just try to find the ratio. Both the numbers are divisible by what? Both the numbers are divisible by 4. So this is 20, sorry. This is what? Both the numbers are divisible by 4. So this is 16 and this is 9. Everybody clear? This is 16 and this is 9. So here we have C option is the correct choice. Guys, you are getting it now. Okay. So, and as a questions or bhi puche gaye C segment. Right, as a boss, I questions push again, and this is the quality that we that we deliver in the class. Right, how long up is it? There is a thing you have question read career or answer tick. That's it, right? Usse rada ki zarurat nahi hoti, guys. UPSC doesn't want to check your mathematical skills. My first second, I'm upset. UPSC wants to check your uh, logical ability, actually, right? Your analytical ability. Thik? जब आप इस तरह से देखना शुरू करेंगे कि 20% का रिडक्शन हो रहा है बार-बार बार-बार तब आपको चीजें ज्यादा क्लियर होंगी और आपकी स्पीड ऑटोमेटिकली एनहांस्ड हो जाएगी एवरीवन दोस वर सिटिंग ऑनलाइन गाइस इट इज क्लियर आप लोगों को बात समझ में आ रही है या नहीं आ रही है मुझे बताइए ये यूपीएससी का क्वेश्चन है आप चेक कर लीजिएगा 2022 में पूछा गया सॉरी 2020 में पूछा गया था राइट ओके शैल वी मूव एवरीवन नाउ एवरीबॉडी शैल वी मूव नाउ हम चलिए ठीक है इसके बाद देखिए फ्रेंड्स मैं आपको कुछ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट के क्वेश्चंस करवाता हूं क्योंकि देखिए सक्सेसिव चेंज का बिल्कुल बेस्ट एग्जांपल अगर कुछ है तो वो है कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट जो बेस्ट एग्जांपल है राइट right? मैं आज आपको सिर्फ दो क्वेश्चंस करवाऊंगा वन और टू क्वेश्चंस जस्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस इट एंड आफ्टर दैट फ्रॉम टुमारो ऑनवर्ड्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग इट थरोली राइट ओके सो नाउ गाइस देखिए जरा देखिए फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑल ऑफ यू the first question, this question is actually a very simple question. And how we are using compound interest in the successive change? And how we are using successive change in the compound interest? First of all, let me discuss that. Right? Guys, just tell me one thing. Aap abhi ek formula pal ke hai, x, 1 minus y by x raised to the power n. Ye formula apne abhi padhai thodi dir pehle. In the last question, you have discussed this formula. Right? And what is the formula of compound interest? What is the formula for compound interest? In compound interest, amount is amount. Amount is means amount means what? Principal plus interest. Amount means principal plus interest, guys. Always remember this, right? So amount is what? P into 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power T. T or N, right? N means number of years. Guys, you just observe these two formula carefully, right? Here also we need to find final concentration, right? And here also we need to find the final value, which is the amount. A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power N. See, here it is minus and here it is plus. Both the, both the formula are same actually. See, in compound interest, obviously your money is getting increased. So that's why it is plus, right? And in the earlier one, we were, we were actually taking out all the time. So obviously like every time the water, I mean the, the actual quantity was getting reduced. Fine. So that's why the minus was there. Guys, clear? Fine. So these two things are actually very much connected. 
मैं आपको इसीलिए कह रहा हूँ कि कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट मैं आपको साथ में करवाऊंगा सक्सेस इन चेंज के राइस क्लियर अच्छा अब देखिए होता क्या है जरा इसको समझिएगा ठीक है मैं एक बहुत सिंपल सी बात आपसे करता हूँ एवरी एक बहुत ही सिंपल सी बात करता हूँ आपसे जैसे मान लीजिए ऑल ऑफ यू एक बार इधर देखिए लेट्स से द प्रिंसिपल इज हंड्रेड रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज टेन परसेंट टाइम इज लेट्स से टू इयर्स ठीक एंड द स्कीम इज सी आई एंड दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट द अमाउंट फाइन एवरीबडी दिस इज लाइक दिस राइट सो ऑब्वियसली वी ऑल नो दिस के अगर हंड्रेड रुपीज हैं तो आफ्टर वन ईयर इट विल बिकम लाइक आफ्टर द इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट बिकॉज द टेन परसेंट इज द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सो आफ्टर वन ईयर इट विल बिकम हंड्रेड एंड टेन हाँ एंड आफ्टर वन मोर ईयर इट विल बिकम लाइक ऑब्वियसली टेन परसेंट ऑफ दिस विल बी इंक्रीज सो विच इज इलेवन विल बी इंक्रीज सो दिस विल बिकम वन ट्वेंटी वन राइट सो गाइज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सेवरल क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस सो वी ऑल नो द आंसर राइट बट आई एम ट्राइंग यू टू सी द लेंस ऑफ टू सी थ्रू दिस फ्रॉम द लेंस ऑफ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट राइट गाइज देखिए जरा कैसे होता है मुझे बस एक बात बताइए अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू पी वन प्लस आर बाय हंड्रेड रेस टू दी पार टी टी मीन्स टाइम गाइज इट इज क्लियर फाइन सो हियर हियर अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड into this 1 by 10 right so this is what this is actually 11 by 10 right so this is 11 by 10 square guys clear this is 11 by 10 square right and and a is equal to 100 11 by 10 i mean 11 square just wait 11 square is 121 divided by 100. So guys, it is okay, right? It is okay, fine. So a is equal to 121, right? So what I'm trying to say you guys is, what I'm trying to say you, we have done this question like this. That if let's say the rate of interest is 10%, 10% is actually 1 by 10, right? So in the last videos, guys, आप लोग एक बार last videos को अच्छे से देख लीजिएगा. So 10% is what? 10% is actually 1 by 10. So 10 becomes 11, and again 10 becomes 11. Fine. Why? Because if you take about the ratio, this ratio is 10 is to 11, and this ratio is again 10 is to 11. Fine. So for first year it is 10 is to 11, and for second years it is again 10 is to 11. Fine. So now everyone, so if you multiply this, so this is 10 is square, and this is 11 is square, right? So what I am trying to say you guys. आप लोग इन क्वेश्चंस को देखिए और अप्रोच कैसे करेंगे ये समझ लीजिएगा जरा अप्रोच कैसे करेंगे हम ये समझिएगा अगर आपको रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट 10 परसेंट दिया हुआ है ठीक सो 10 परसेंट इज एक्चुअली वन बाई टेन सो जस्ट अज्यूम द प्रिंसिपल एज 10, फाइन राइट एंड इफ टी इज दे आर सेइंग टू इयर्स सो जस्ट डू द स्क्वायर ऑफ दिस फाइन एंड ऑब्वियसली आफ्टर द इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट आफ्टर द इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट टेन बिकम्स इलेवन एंड टाइम इज सेइंग टू ईयर्स so just put the square of this so principal will be taken as 100 and amount will be 121 guys it is clear so obviously this we have done in the previous video also so that's why this is not a new thing but yes with the lens of compound interest when you observe this then obviously this is a new thing fine and guys aap ek baar zara is question ko dekhiye and tell me the answer tell me the answer guys see this is 10% per annum right So 10% per annum means 10 becomes 11, right? 10 becomes 11, and this is actually 10 cube, right? And this is 11 cube. 1331 is 11 cube, fine. So 10 cube becomes 11 cube. So obviously, power of 3, right? So time will be 3 years. And in fact, this we have already discussed in the last videos. So one more 10% increment will give you 1331, right? 1331. Guys, nice. this we have already discussed actually. So just by just by reading this question, you can tell me the answer. Right, right. Just by reading the question, you can tell me the answer. Okay, guys. So fine, friends. Now 
let's move to the next question and from next question onwards it will be actually very much enjoyable fine idhar dekhiye zara ek baar mujhe ye bataiye is question ko read kariye zara please guys just read this question just read this question i am not asking to solve this question just read it question is saying what question is saying find out the compound interest on rupees 7500 right at the rate of 4% per annum you know, for 2 years compounded annually okay everyone question is find out the compound interest on rupees 7500 at the rate of 4% per annum you know, for 2 years compounded annually okay now guys these type of questions here 4% is what 4% is actually 1 by 25 guys clear 4% is what 4% is actually 1 by 25 fine so we will assume the principal as 25 right and obviously 1 by 25 so if i am assuming the principal as 25 so 1 by 25 of this will be increased right so 1 by 25 of this will be increased so obviously increment will be of 1 so 1 by 25 of 25 will be 1 so this will become 26 guys clear so for first year 25 will become 26 and for all the years 25 will become 26 question is saying for two years right so for two years so just do the square of this everybody clear right so this is 625 and this is 676 right so guys this is your principal and this is your amount so obviously the difference is the interest what is the difference the difference is 51 right everyone 51 is the interest guys okay 51 is the interest clear now guys the question is saying what the question is saying the principal is 7500 right according to you the principal is 625 so this is 625 units guys right so question is saying 6 according to you this is 625 right and according to the question is 7500 so just try to equate them right so 625 units is equal to 7500 right so guys don't get afraid of these values like oh no don't get afraid try to break them right this is what this is 25 square so this is 25 into 25 and this is what this is 75 into 100 right so this is what sir this is 3 and this is 4 so one unit equal to 12 guys clear so one unit equal to 12 51 is the compound interest right question is saying what is the compound interest so according to you 51 is the compound interest so 51 into 12 which is 612 rupees everybody clear so rupees 612 is the compound interest guys it is fine ये बात आपको समझ में आई है या नहीं आई है एवरी वन दो सिटिंग ऑनलाइन पवन सतीश एंड यासिन यू गाइज आर कंफर्टेबल विद दिस कंसेप्ट मुझे बताइए ये बात आप लोगों को समझ में आ गई अच्छे से एवरी वन ये बात अच्छे से समझ में आ गई क्योंकि मैं आपको हमेशा बोलता हूँ गाइज कि फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यूज आर एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सक्सेसिव चेंज इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ओके एवरीबडी फाइन राइट दो सिटिंग ऑनलाइन गाइज अगर आप रिप्लाई भी करते रहेंगे तो मैं थोड़ा सा अच्छा फील करूंगा राइट ओके सो शैल वी मूव नाउ फ्रेंड्स ओके गुड वेरी गुड शैल वी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में एक क्वेश्चन और करता हूँ आज दैट विल द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे एंड उसके बाद हम लोग बाकी क्वेश्चन कल करेंगे ठीक है एक क्वेश्चन और देखिए आज का ठीक है चलिए ओके जस्ट रीड दिस क्वेश्चन गाइज जस्ट रीड दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स Question is saying find out the compound interest on rupees eight thousand at ten percent per annum for two years compounded annually, right? Question is saying find out the compound interest on rupees eight thousand at the rate of ten percent per annum for two years compounded annually, right? So guys, ten percent is what? Ten percent is actually one by ten, right? So I'll assume the principal as this, and obviously this is the interest. right so principal i have assumed 10 and the interest is 1 so 10 plus 1 will be 11 so amount will be 
and they are talking about what? How many years? They are talking about two years. So the square, right? The square. So hundred and twenty-one, right? So guys, the interest is twenty-one units, right? According to you, it is twenty-one units. Now, according to you, the principal is hundred and the amount is one twenty-one and the interest is this this is like according to you but what the question is saying question is saying the principal is rupees 8000 fine so guys question is saying the principal is rupees 8000 so this is actually 80 times of this fine so according to you the compound interest is 21 right but question is what one unit is equal to 80 now right 100 is equal to 8000 so 1 equal to 80 so 21 into 80 is 168 right so compound interest will be rupees 1680 guys okay right comfortable how clear aage baat samajh mein aap logon ko theek hai to aaj hum log itna hi rakhte hain right everyone and from tomorrow right main iske kuch acche acche questions aapko karwaunga aur is concept pe hum thoda sa aur deep jayenge right and we'll be discussing about the difference between simple interest and compound interest also right क्योंकि अभी तक क्या हुआ है अभी तक यूपीएससी ने कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट के क्वेश्चंस को या सिंपल इंटरेस्ट के क्वेश्चंस को बहुत अच्छे से नहीं पूछा है एंड एवरी टाइम दे आर डूइंग समथिंग न्यू राइट एवरी टाइम दे आर डूइंग समथिंग न्यू फाइन बिकॉज आप अगर लास्ट ईयर का पेपर देखें तो दे हैव गिवन द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन दे हैव गिवन द सिक्स क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ इट जो कि वो कभी नहीं करते थे राइट right? एंड तो अभी तक सिंपल इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट को लाइक दे हैव नॉट टस्ट दे हैव नॉट टस्ट द प्रोबेबिलिटी even they have not touched the geometry i should say right so but geometry mein bahut zyada wo deep mein nahi jayenge lekin ha fir bhi questions puche ja sakte hain right so guys be prepared and upsc is like unpredictable always fine so you guys please uh, be prepared for all these things also right everyone fine so guys uh, thank you so much for uh, the attendance for uh, watching this video so thank you everyone thank you thank you